Hey everyone, it's LaDon. Hope you're doing well. Happy Labor Day. Coming at you with video number two for today. This video is for the braid and curl out. This will be a tutorial. It's also going to be an experiment because since I last did this style, and I mean I had really mastered this style for my hair. It's actually how I wore my hair most of last winter. But since then, my hair has grown. Um, you know, my hair has grown. So we're down to here now. And also, um, I'm not working with any relaxed ends. When I first started, um, I was working with relaxed ends. Um, and the other big difference is my curl pattern has also evolved and kind of changed because as your hair grows and you know as you develop your moisture. Um, balance in your hair, you finally begin to see what your natural curl looks like and the texture and you know the type of curls you have. So I'm kind of working with different hair. So I am going to go ahead and just kind of begin the tutorial slash experiment and we will work through this kind of together. All right. So um, for this style, I'm going to be using um, this product which is Organic Root Stimulator Lock and Twist Gel. Also, I'm going to be using my Water and Aloe Vera Gel uh, Juice. Water and Aloe Vera Juice. For those of you who've seen this bottle before, I haven't pulled it out in a while, but for those of you who are used to seeing this, you know that this is not a Motions product. This is actually um, two parts water, one part Aloe Vera Juice. And then, you know, I'm kind of debating um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and use some of my shea butter. This is a shea butter mix I make. Um, the reason I'm going to use it is because I'm curious to see how my hair responds to it. This is a new formulation I've made, and so I just um, am, am curious um, to, seeing, to see how my hair responds to it. I'm going to use two different types of flexi rods. I'm going to use the blue, and I'm going to use the orange. I cannot remember if before I used all one color a flexi rod or type of flexi rod or two, but for this experiment, I'm just going to go ahead and use the two. All right, so here we go. Um, I do not section my hair when I do braid out to twist out. The reason um, I don't section my hair is because I like to position the braids so that they kind of fall in the style I'm hoping to achieve or the shape I'm hoping to achieve. And I find that when I section it and I pull it in you know, pull it different ways, it's more difficult for me to see um, that style in my head. All right, so I'm going to start out. I've already established where I want my part. I'm doing a deep part because I find that when you do styles where you have lots of volume or you want lots of volume, it's best and it looks better to do a deep set part. Okay, um, your hair falls. Um, you know, nicely and it just looks good, you know, kind of, to me it looks better overall. So I am going to take this section and what I'm doing is, see, my braid is here and so, I mean not my braid, my, um, my part is here. So I'm going to just kind of pull, go along that part and then just pull a section right here. And this is going to be my first braid. I don't use like um, a tool to make my parts for this at all. Um, one of the reasons I don't do it is because I don't need for them to be neat and um, you know it just don't take, it doesn't take all that for me. Pulling section is, is easier and it actually gives me more flexibility when I'm trying to create a style. So I've just misted my hair um, with this water. Again, this has a very fine mist and I'm really just get misting it. It's it's not even wet. It's not it's not wet. Um, it's just you know again lightly misted. So that I can easily work with it. I'm going to use my fingers just to kind of go through it like this and lightly kind of detangle and remove any shed shedding here. Do that. 
and um, then I'm going to use some of my just a little bit of my shea butter that much and I'm going to really concentrate this on the ends of the hair and then work up toward the roots then I'm going to take a bit of my my gel this is what the twist and lock gel looks like all right you don't need a whole lot of it either I just take a little little dab of it I don't want too much product because when um, with this style I'm hoping to um, have as much length as possible with the style I don't want my hair to shrink up which is another reason I'm using this fine mist bottle rather than one of the regular water bottles where you get a real strong real strong uh, stream of water coming out okay so I'm going to braid this and I'm going to braid it coming more toward the front here because I, I want my hair to fall in this direction and for the most part I'm going to braid it down to the end with normal braid out um, I would not braid like the last inch of it this I'm braiding pretty much to um, toward the end and then I'm, I'm just going to leave this and I'm going to position all the rest of my braid in my hair so I know I want to braid here so again I'm going to miss and I'm just going to repeat this process again missing the hair adding a little bit of <coughs> excuse me my shea butter mix going up the the hair and then doing the same with my organic root stimulator product and then I'm going to braid this as well I almost want this to be a bigger section just a slightly bigger section Alright, so <laughs> I'm looking crazy, but I have made all of my braids. I've braided and I've done fairly large sections, I think, um, throughout my head. And the one section I did not braid is right here. I'm going to pull in some so you can see it, but right along my the bottom of my hairline. Um, probably going up about maybe two or three inches from here to here is not braided on this side from here to here is not braided um, I have just let my natural curls just hang loose I don't when I do braid out twist out um, what have you um, not so much bantu knot outs but with braid outs and twist outs I don't braid or twist this portion of my hair because that's where my loosest curls are um, so they do not, this section, because it naturally wants to be straighter, um, it does not take twists or braided textures really well at all. Um, so what I do is I let my natural curls just sort of form down here so you can kind of see them. And you can see how loose my natural curls are. So I just leave those kind of as is. And then once I have finished you know my hairstyling I just blend it in and it blends in really nicely so if you have a portion of your hair where um, you know that area tends to be looser curls um, then you might want to consider doing that um, just to save yourself a lot of headache <laughs> and to savage your hairstyle alright so now that I've braided everything oh one thing I didn't mention to you when I braid is that I leave a portion loose on the end here alright so I'm going to have this portion loose and um, 
what I'm going to do is actually just lightly mist my whole head now. Just like lightly misting it. And then this like section that's not braided, I'm going to put a little bit of water on that. And then I'm going to add a bit of the um, organic root stimulator, just really a little bit to that end section. Now normally you would wind this around your finger, right, if you were doing a braid out or a twist out. What I do is I put the, um, the gel on and then the reason I do that is to help the hair to lay nicely on the roller like this, okay? And then I wrap it around like that and then I just do a spiral curl up the length of the braid and that's essentially what I do and I do that for each and every braid. Okay, so I've put all of the flexi rods in my hair except for one. There's just one braid. And um, the reason I didn't put this one in, well, actually I put it in, but I took it back out. <laughs> because I wanted to draw attention to the technique I use to uh, put my flexi rods in. So this flexi rod, as you can tell, it has like space in between each time I wrap the hair around the rod. Right, as you can see, there's at least an inch in uh, space in between each uh, time I wrap it around. Now, normally when we curl our hair or we use rollers on our hair, whether they're flexi rods or, or not, we traditionally roll our hair this way, and this is where we roll the hair on top of one another. Um, but I'm not doing that because I want to um, experience and enjoy the length of my hair with this particular style. Like a lot of times when you do your wash and goes in some other styles you experience shrinkage. Well the wonderful thing about braid outs and twist outs is that they typically allow you to enjoy more length than you do with a um, wash and go. So I don't want to curl my hair in such a, a way that's going to cause it you know to be close to my head. I want to curl it in such a way that's gonna um, work well with the braid out and um, allow me, you know, again, to enjoy the length. So I'm going to be taking the flexi rod here and I'm going to put it, put the hair on the flexi rod like this. And of course I'm wrapping it around like I showed you earlier. And then I'm, you know, placing, placing it in the hair. All right, so I just wanted to draw attention to that so that, you know, when you do this, you kind of mimic that technique if you would like to have a little bit more um, more length and enjoy the length that um, you know braid outs provide. Okay, so once you've put your flexi rods in, um, you can either sit under a hooded dryer to set the uh, the hair texture. Uh, the braided hair texture and the curl to set the curl or you can just let your hair air dry leave your flexi rods in while you're doing stuff around the house or whatever and uh, then take them out after several hours that's what I'm going to do I have a hooded dryer but I don't like to sit under it unless I absolutely have to <laughs> absolutely have to so I'm gonna leave these in for probably the rest of the day I may even sleep in them because they're not uncomfortable to me. If you position them properly, like so that they're flat on your head like this, then you could sleep on this side very, very comfortably. <laughs> so I am going to do that. And then in part two of the video, I'm going to show you how I take these down and then how I style. All right. So I hope this is helpful and I'll see you in part two. Bye.